Welcome back. Now we need to add an input and a button so that I can send messages to the chatbot. So we need to add the HTML code as well as the CSS code so that we have here an input as well as a button. And if we go to our project, just below the container, the container of course of the uh, messages, there are two containers, remember, there is a the main container, this container, which is the main, and there is the container for the messages. Just outside the messages container, I'm going to create another dev, which is going to have the input as well as the button. And this class, this dev will have a class, a bootstrap class called input group. And inside it, I will have an input, which is going to let the user type the message. And the um, ID will be text box, or whatever ID you want. And the ID is very important because this ID will be used in order to get the message and send it to the chatbot. And then we have also the type. The type should be obviously text. And we, we also have the class. The class is very important. I'm going to use the... Uh, a bootstrap class called form control. So this is for the input. The next thing is the button. And I'm going to use a dev, and inside that dev I will have the button. And this dev will have a class called input group append, which is also a, a bootstrap class that will add the button just next to the input. And then we have the button, here, button. And the button, of course, very important. It will also have an ID equals to send, send button. Send button. And also we will have the, um, the class. The class is very important. The class is just a, um, a uh, bootstrap class called btn and then btn primary. And there are many classes in Bootstrap. You can choose whatever, whichever you want. And also the type should be type here equals to button. And finally, inside the button, it, it's going to say send. Let's now save all of this and go to the browser and see how this is going to look like. So in the browser now, if I refresh, as you can see now, we have this input and the button and they look awesome. If I change the size, as you can see the input and the button both are responsive and of course the user will be able to type and send.